and welcome back to Junk Jody. I am so excited to share this video with you all. Last week it was all about Jane Austen and today it's about the Basingstoke Canal. This project is for the Virtual Basingstoke Festival 2021 and it's in partnership with Basingstoke and Dean Borough Council and Love Basingstoke Initiative. And today we are going to be making a canal boat! A canal boat is a long, narrow boat that's used on canals. And work started on on the Basingstoke Canal in 1788 and it was completed in 1794 costing roughly £150,000 and the 32 miles long of the Basingstoke Canal ends at the Greywell Tunnel in Hampshire and the Greywell Tunnel is a site of special scientific interest as it houses hundreds of bats the canal was mainly used to take timber, chalk and flour to London on boats called barges. And the barges would return with coal and fertiliser. Pretty cool, right? On that note, for this exercise you are going to need... have all of those materials don't worry just use what you have because this exercise is all about having fun and learning it doesn't have to be perfect in fact there's so much art and beauty in things that are not perfect let's get started first we want to take the wrappers off our two bottles we then want to take the lids off now taking a pen, we want to draw some markings like this. We want to match the same markings on our other bottle. Now we want to cut them out. You need to be careful when doing this. Make sure to ask your grown-up to help you. I find it easiest to squeeze the bottle together, cut a small slit, like this, and then put your scissors through the slit to cut out your markings. We will cut this part right off. Now we want to cut this whole circle out at the end of our bottle. We want to do the same on the other bottle. Now we are going to add some final markings to cut out and then we are ready for the next step. So our two bottles should now look like this. We want to now slot them into each other. Then tape them up. Now taking one or two pieces of newspaper, we want to rip them up into lots of pieces. We want to mix some PVA glue and water together in equal quantities. We will then paper mache around the outside of our bottles. We 
now want to add the lids back onto either side of our bottles. Once it's all nice and covered, we will leave it to dry. Once it's dried, it's time to get painting! We want to paint the top edge of our canal boat in red paint, roughly 1.5 centimetres in width. We then want to paint the rest in black. Now you can take a thinner paintbrush to neaten the edges between the red and black paint. Once that's done, we will leave this to dry and then start working on the rest of our canal boat. Now taking this medium sized cereal box, we want to take it apart Turn it inside out and glue it back together. We will glue this side and this side too, leaving this part open. We just want to cut these small flaps off. Now we will cover the whole thing in blue paint. We will also paint the inside of these two doors. Once that's done, we need to leave it to dry. While we are waiting for everything to dry, we will start making our narrowboat windows and portholes and decorative bits. Taking some white card or cereal box card, we need to draw four squares six centimeters in width and height. Then we need to add a line two centimeters below the top line of each square. We then want to draw around these pencil markings in a grey or silver pen. We then want to take a blue colouring pencil to colour in the windows. You can also add some handles with a black pen. Now it's time to cut them out and put them aside for now. Now we want to draw and decorate our portholes. We will measure two circles roughly four centimeters in diameter. Colour them blue and then outline them with the same grey pen as our windows. Then cut them out. Taking some more white card, we need to draw a rectangle roughly. 21 centimeters wide and 3 centimeters tall. We then want to paint it red. Then cut it out. Now we are ready to stick our windows, portholes, decorative bits 
onto the upper part of our canal boat. Now the upper part of our canal boat is nearly finished. We just need to add some gold details. Now we can slot the upper part of our canal boat into the lower part. And voila! And there we have it everyone! Our very own canal boat made from recycled materials. I hope you had fun making this. Please do share a photo of your canal boat to hashtag Junk Jody Arts and Crafts and hashtag Stoke Your Creativity. We would love to see as many canal boats as possible. And stay tuned for next week as we are going to be visiting the history of Thornycroft vehicles. That's all from me for now. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone!